Welcome back to Return to Title Town. Special teams became such a key emphasis, Larry McCarron, in training camp this summer. And boy, I tell you what, down the stretch, it really paid off, didn't it? They sure did. Improvement throughout the season. And then the playoffs, the Super Bowl, outstanding. And right next to me is a guy who became a special teams beast, Jared Bush. Jared, what's the Super Bowl championship mean to you, buddy? Feels awesome. Um, got to tip my, hat, tip my hat off to the rest of my teammates. Couldn't do without them. Got the greatest fans also. Um, hey, we did it, man. We did it. We sure did. The coordinator of the special teams who worked so hard, Sean Slocum, so often in those practices all summer at training camp, painstaking teaching of fundamentals of special teams play, and it really worked out for you. And congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Our guys did a great job taking the plan and the work and moving forward throughout the season. We overcame a bunch of obstacles and uh, brought the Lombardi Trophy back to Green Bay. It certainly did. The specialist, Tim Maste, the punter, Mason Crosby, the kicker. Good. Tim, I got to tell you something. You emerged as an unknown rookie through a tough competition in training camp. You came on, and as the season wore on, you became one of the best placement punters in football. Congratulations on your season in the championship. Well, thank you very much. I'll say uh, I never thought that punting in the freezing cold would be so much fun. Uh, yeah, it's not easy to kick. How do you kick in this weather? You just deal with it. Um, it's, it's just been a blast to be a part of this organization, this team this year, uh, and I hope to be around here and, and play with this great organization for a while. Mason Crosby, talk a little bit about Lambeau Field. It's a special place uh, in terms of playing football, but also the wind currents in here. And you got to know a little bit about that, too, when you're in your business, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's fitting that we're out here and it's uh, freezing and windy. I mean, we should have played the Super Bowl here, right? <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yeah, they'd agree with that. I think they'd agree. But we took, uh, we took this cold weather down to Dallas and uh, made it our hometown, and... This is, uh, this is what we're used to, and uh, I, I was just saying to Tim that it's crazy that we played in games cold as this because it, it feels pretty cold out here. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're just watching like you guys have been here today. The Super Bowl kickoff is the first thing that happens. Talk a little bit about that. Mike McCarthy decided to put his defense on the field first, which meant you got to kick off the Super Bowl. What was that like? Man, there was a lot of energy. You know, I, I hit a little driven ball. I wanted to, I wanted to crush a touchback. Obviously, I think I hit it a little too hard, and it just, uh, I might have compressed the ball. <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna flatten it, but it's all right. Uh, no, I, I was, I was so pumped up. I had a lot of fun. Guys flying around. We did a great job, you know, uh, covering all day, and um, you know, we were able to stick them back there at that last drive and uh, make them have to go to the whole field, and our defense just shut it down. Jared. What's it like to cover kicks in a Super Bowl with that much on the line? Um, you know what? You've got to lay it on the line. You know, uh, it's a Super Bowl. Um, lay your ears back. That's what Sean and, and Chad always, you know, harp on something about. And uh, just go play fast and try to make plays and, and don't hold anything back. And we, we did just that, you know, came back with the Lombardi Trophy. And Sean, what does it take? to be a great special teams player for a team like you guys had this year? It takes the energy like we have in these a stadium full of Packer fans. It takes guys a disregard of the body and, and lay it on the line, as Jared said, and, and just being all in. Thank you, Sean Slocum. All right, coming up when we return to Titletown. The offense of your world champion, Green Bay Packers, in the spotlight. Coming up next. Welcome back to Return to Titletown. Wayne Larravee, my broadcast partner, Larry McCarron, members of the 
World champion Green Bay Packers offense. Let's start on your side, Larry. Hey, first of all, while you were gone, folks, you missed Jason Spitz taking his shirt off and doing a belly flop out here. <laughs> it was great. Next to me, Wayne, Jordy Nelson. Jordy, how you doing? Doing great. Jordy, how does it feel to be a Super Bowl champion? It's unbelievable, um, especially with an organization like the Green Bay Packers. Just be able to put our stamp on the history here, be a part of it, and uh, we'll be remembered forever. I seem to recall you had a pretty big day Sunday. How'd that feel? Uh, it was unbelievable. It's, uh, I don't know how to say. It was great. Um, had a lot of opportunities, tried to make the most of them, and uh, just helped this team win the trophy. Who you got by you there, Wayne? I got the all-pro wide receiver, the Green Bay Packers, two touchdown receptions, Greg Jennings. What was Sunday like for you? Uh, it was unbelievable. Um, obviously, you play this game to get to that stage and to have an opportunity to actually win the game and bring the Lombardi Trophy back here. Uh, it's, it's surreal right now, but these fans deserve it, and we worked hard to get it. You certainly did. And the guy who helped you work through it, the offensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers, Joe Philbin. Joe, congratulations on a tremendous run. Well, hey, we, you know, we got a great bunch of guys. Uh, they, ne they never gave up. They always believed in themselves. And, you know, even after that bad game we played in Detroit, they just kept working. Uh, a great group of assistant coaches, our position guys on offense, did a phenomenal job. And, Larry, you've got a guy who's been around here almost as long as I have. Actually, he's been around here the same amount of time, 12 years, introduced us to Donald Driver. You might have heard of him. Donald, I don't know who's happier about your Super Bowl championship, you or them. I think we both are. We're both excited about this opportunity. You know, the good part about it is we decided that we had to do it. We brought the trophy where it belonged. It started here. And look where we're at now. We're Super Bowl champs, baby. That's right. Donald, you've been around a lot of teams and a lot of teammates. What made this one special? You know, the thing that started all season long is guys believe. And when you got guys that can believe that you can accomplish anything, you can do it. And what we did in Dallas was truly amazing. We got the Vince Lombardi Trophy right back at home. Greg Jennings, I want to ask you about this receiver group. You guys, uh, and, and talk a little bit about it. I guess this summer you made a little excursion down to Jordy Nelson's farm and uh, a little bonding for the group. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it was a, it was a great experience, uh, a unique experience, one that I could check off my bucket list. Uh, we, <laughs> we did some strange things down there. My guy James Jones need to get up here right now. He's a huge part of this receiver group. Come on, James, where are you? He's from California, so he's trying to stay by the heat. <laughs> Here he comes. Number 89, James Jones. James Jones. <laughs> what can I say, James? Your man called you out. Yeah, he always does that. But, uh, nah, man, it's a great group of receivers, man. I love playing with him, man. We're very unselfish. And, uh... If we weren't ourselves, we couldn't bring the trophy back home, so I love these guys. Hey, Wayne. One qu quick word from Donald Driver. Donald, what do you guys think of the fans and support you've gotten this season? Oh, we love you guys so much. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to accomplish the things that we accomplished. You guys cheer us on. 
the 70,000 fans that's in this stadium every Sunday, the million fans watching on TV. We love you guys. Thank you for your support. And guess what? We're Super Bowl champs, baby. Oh, oh. Great job. Hold on, offensive line. Offensive line. Oh, you're not getting out of here that easy. <laughs> Wait a second. We got the offensive line. Scotty, come on over. All right. Scotty is the handsomest and the smartest guy because he plays center, aren't you, Scotty? That's right. That's right. Comes from a long line of centers under that uh, description with yourself, Coach Campen, uh, Jerry Fondo plays center, so a lot of centers are right here. Scotty, how the last couple of days been for you, celebrating the Super Bowl championship? Uh, it's been exciting. I think I got two hours of sleep in 48 hours, so it was exciting. How did, like, how did you like your offensive performance against the Pittsburgh Steelers? I thought we did a good job. We, uh, Aaron did an excellent uh, job out there. We know if we give him time, he can pick any defense apart. Uh, the coaches do an outstanding job of getting us in winning situations with the play call, and I think that uh, our line did an outstanding job protecting him, running the ball effectively enough to, to open up some passes. So we won a championship. That's all that matters. That's right. And, Scotty, how great was it to have your family being down there to celebrate your championship with you? Oh, it was huge. It was huge. Uh, it's a memory that I can take with me for the rest of my life. Uh, I, had, I had all three of my kids on the field, my wife. Uh, the press conference, my little boy, who's about 15 months old, was sticking his finger in my ear. So uh, it, it was exciting. Congratulations to you, Scotty, and the entire Packer offensive line. Congratulations to the offensive line of the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Well, Larry, he's become kind of a folk hero. Let's hear it. In short yardage. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. We had number 30 up here. John Kuhn, congratulations. Thank you very much. It, it really means a lot to come out here and see all the fans bear the elements on a day like today, on a work day. You guys are still here. You guys are still supporting us. Thank you very much. John, would you say you're a blue collar player, perfect for blue collar fans? Yeah, I'd, I'd say our whole team is. I mean, we, we play up here on Lambeau Field in the frozen tundra, just like the fans. We're gonna come out here and bear it win some football games, play off football in the cold weather, and we're proud to bring that trophy home to you. John Kuhn began his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. It must have been special to play the Steelers and beat the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Yes, it did. It, it, it was an incredible feeling, but I, I'll tell you what, it didn't matter who we were playing on Sunday. We were gonna win that game and bring that trophy here back to Green Bay. John Coon. John Coon. Coon. All right. When we come back, are you ready for the Super Bowl MVP? Yeah. He's next. Yeah. Welcome back to Lambeau Field of Green Bay. Well, here he is, direct from North Texas, your Super Bowl MVP, quarterback Aaron Rodgers. What's up, Title Town? I just want you to know, for the next year, you guys can steal my belt celebration because we're the champions of the world. Put that on whenever you want. Hey, no, I just want to say that 
until two days ago, the greatest day of my sporting career was April 23rd, 2005, when this organization picked me in the draft. It's been a great journey the last six years with you guys. Been able to meet some great men and women, not only in this organization, but you all out there. We got the greatest fans in the world. Nothing better than uh, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Chicago, and then down in Dallas, hear that go pack, go chain at the end of the game. We love you guys. It's been a great journey this year. A lot of ups and downs. You guys believed in us. I got to thank Ted Thompson, Mark Murphy, Mike McCarthy for putting this thing together, guiding us, believing us. My teammates, just incredible job they did. We added guys to the mix. We lost guys to the IR. Those guys are so important to us. We brought in guys who were hungry, who wanted to play and contribute. A lot of guys stepped up. And, and believe in each other. This is a great group of men. A lot of, a lot of chemistry, a lot of high character in that locker room. And we did it together, and we brought that title back home, baby. We love you. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron, first off, we got to ask you. Yesterday, the other... Super Bowl, press conference, Disney World, Letterman, back to Green Bay. What was that like? I'm pretty tired right now. <laughs> but it's a good time because we accomplished our goal. We set out March 16, 2010, and Mike brought the team together, and this was our goal. We put a picture on the wall so every day we could look at what we wanted to accomplish and bring another championship back to Title Town. Aaron, you guys went into that game a very confident football team. Where did you guys derive all that confidence from? I think from our preparation. You know, we can get a great week of practice in. These guys study the game plan, the film. And you know, there's nobody who can stop us. <laughs> a lot of people before the Super Bowl, Aaron, were talking about the fact that the Packers would have to run the football somewhat effectively, maybe invest 30 carries uh, in that game, in the game plan to run the football against the Steelers. You guys came out and did exactly the opposite, through the football. Give us a little inkling of what the thinking was and the planning for that Super Bowl game plan. I think you got to give credit to James Starks, the way he ran the football in this postseason. Really gave us a boost. But we really felt like if we spread the Steelers out, take their base defense off the field, that we could pick on them down the field. You know, it hurt to lose Donald in that game, but Jordy stepped up, had an incredible game. Yeah, get up for Jordy. But, you know, I think everybody in that locker room knows when we're spreading it out and protecting me and giving me some time, it's going to be a long day for the defense. It sure is. Aaron, we were never worried. Were you ever worried? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of faith in these guys. You know, we've been through a lot together, a lot of adversity, but guys stuck together the entire season, believe in each other. This is the best locker room I've ever been a part of. These guys believe in each other. We love each other. We take care of each other. We pick each other up when we're down. And that game, when, it, you know, when they start getting the momentum, big fumble, and we had to cash in on points and, and put that thing away, and we did that. The defense came up big all year. You know, six-point lead, needing to stop to win a championship, and they came up big. Aaron, as you, you look ahead, you've mentioned it a couple of times now in the last 48 hours, championship again. Uh, this is not the end it's the beginning isn't it no i sure hope so you know we got an incredible group of guys the core is coming back i tell you what green bay we're gonna be right here next year doing this exact same thing 
Ladies and gentlemen, your Super Bowl MVP, Aaron Rodgers. There he is. Tell you what, Larry, we've seen some good quarterbacks here. You played for a very good quarterback in Bart Starr. We may have another one on our hands here. This guy ain't good. He's freaky good. <laughs> he is great. Great football player. All right, when we come back, we'll wrap things up from Title Town. Coming up after these words. A warm and fuzzy feeling that will last all year. And I'll tell you what, the Green Bay Packers fans, their Super Bowl caliber every season. This season, they got a team to match. All right, folks, the title has returned to Title Town. Thank you for watching and enjoy the winter. It'll be a warm one thanks to the Lombardi Trophy being back here in Green Bay. Live at Five begins with continuing coverage of the Green Bay Packers and the Lombardi Trophy returning to Titletown. Yes, the Lombardi Trophy is back at Lambeau Field. Seth, we lost the Arizona game last year. Just in the exit interviews, the players felt very strongly that we had a team to go win a winning championship. They have great confidence, great resolve, unbelievable support from the Packer Nation, and we're going to do it again next year. How about that? Oh, love it. Fans waited 14 <laughs> years to celebrate another Super Bowl victory. So they did not mind spending a couple of hours in the freezing cold to see the players return to Titletown. And as you might have guessed, Lambeau Field was sold out even on a bitterly cold day when they were shooting up fireworks in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> oh, isn't that a sight? Fans arrived hours early. They filled the parking lot. And these fireworks are actually going on right now. F fans were tailgating very early. It was only about five degrees. Lance Allen, who just got back from Dallas yesterday, is up at Lambeau Field to continue our team coverage of the return to Titletown. Lance? All right, thank you, Jake. And obviously you can tell that they are shooting off the fireworks as we speak as they wrap up the return to Title Town coverage. Absolutely fabulous ceremony. Mike McCarthy just passed by me and said, you got to be freezing. I said, what about you? But obviously the players, they're warm in their hearts because the Lombardi Trophy is truly home. Let's show you what happened earlier, about an hour ago. Mike McCarthy was the one that brought the trophy in to Lambeau Field and let everyone touch it all around the stadium. It was a truly special moment. And then the mayor of Green Bay said and pronounced the street nearby McCarthy's Way. So he already has what Mike Holmgren got, and that is a street named in his honor. And here's the head coach addressing the fans on this special day. I just want to thank the fans. You're, you're, you're clearly an energy force for our football team. Just keep bringing that passion, that energy, and we'll keep bringing them trophies home back to you. Great job, Mr. Chair. Our path was different, obviously, just the way we, with the injuries and so forth, but they have great confidence, great resolve, unbelievable support from the Packer Nation, and we're going to do it again next year. And that was the theme here that they plan to have the team bring the trophy back again next year. They think they can do it again. There you see the fireworks going off as some people are leaving, but a lot of people wanting to stick around to enjoy the moment here at Return to Titletown. At Lambeau Field, Lance Allen, today's TMJ4. Mike Carroll, we pull out all the stops for you guys. Unbelievable, a sellout crowd on a day when it's only in the single digits. <laughs> well, you can understand, everybody's excited. Well, Mick Trevi spent the day with fans at Lambeau. And he is live as we continue our Return to Titletown coverage, Mick. Yeah, Mike and Carol, as the fireworks go off here and the fans come streaming out, it's been one big party here today as people revel in this Packers victory. Fans started showing up at Lambeau Field early today to get pictures with statues of Curly Lambeau and Vince Lombardi. Bill Merritt drove nearly 24 hours to get here. He had a ticket to the big game in Dallas. I'm happy for all the fans. Um, you know, my father went to the first two Super Bowls ever, and now I've gotten my chance, so, you know, it's, I think it's going to be great. It's a sense that being here is more than just a day. It's a chance to be at Lambeau Field for an incredible moment in time. 
Oh, this is history in the making. I mean, you can't take anything away from Green Bay because Brett Favre brought us a long way. And nothing against saying things about Brett Favre. Now we got the new quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Wow, what a smooth quarterback. Playing the way he played all year long and taking us in there, I knew we were going to win. I had confidence all the way. Inside the Lambeau Field Atrium, a long line of people waited to buy Super Bowl merchandise. People bought it up almost as fast as the staff could bring it out. Mary Steinkraus of Germantown was shopping and caught our attention. I do wear green and gold mohawk when I'm running and I wore a jersey and pants so it's nice to have everybody else join me in the excitement. Now, Mike and Carol, we can tell you there were a few fans that came out and tried to tailgate today, but it's really, really cold up here. Most people seem to opt for some of the restaurants around here instead. We're live at Lambeau Field. Mick Trevi, today's TMJ4. Back to you guys. <laughs> Mick, I want you to wear one of those mohawks. Oh, I love the mohawks. <laughs> I love that. That's yeah, great. Yeah, I think it look good, huh? <laughs> it would look good on you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Well, for a lot of fans, the Packers are a family tradition. Lauren Magic is live at Lambeau. She has that part of our return to Title Town coverage. Lauren. You know, so many people today came here with their families, multiple generations, because it's not just about cheering on the team, it's about spending time with one another and that family tradition. Pretty cool. What do you think, guys? You excited yeah. about this? Yeah. Yeah. The Packers won the Super Bowl. Yeah. The Packers are a family affair for the Benteens. Todd brought his sons, Joe, Tom, and Danny. The four of them are always together for games. We, uh, we watch the pack every week and get to a couple games, but uh, we wanted to be here and celebrate with the Packers. It all began with Todd's father-in-law, who attended the Ice Bowl. The story was he put his name in for season tickets after the Ice Bowl the Monday after, and he got them about three, four years ago. So we get to go to two games a year. Todd started watching by his grandfather's side through the lean years of the 70s and 80s. And that's why this day, celebrating a Super Bowl with his sons is so special. You never got to celebrate a Super Bowl with your grandpa then, I suppose. No, <laughs> no, but we're doing that today, though. Well, I'll tell you, there were lots of little kids here today, too. We saw a bunch of them streaming out early because the cold was too much, but they had a great time here today. And everyone coming out is telling me it was all worth it. Reporting live at Lambeau, Lauren Lemanchek, today's TMJ4.